Hey everyone, this is Kevin from themathworld.com and today we're going to be going over a nice little trick how to multiply numbers by 75. And this works for big numbers, small numbers, all numbers in between. Now there's two methods that we're going to talk about. One specifically pertains to 75 and the second one pertains to multiplying by 25 and then just multiplying the end number by 3. So if you've completely mastered how to multiply by 25, you can just use that trick instead and we'll talk about how to do that. But the first one is going to be how to incorporate a new trick with 75. And it looks like this. We'll start out with a small number, then we'll get bigger. First number we're going to look at is 18, and we're going to multiply it by 75. The first thing you want to do is you want to divide this number 18, and you want to divide it by 4. So we're going to take 18, and we're going to divide this by 4. Now 4 goes into 18 4 times with a remainder of 2. And this 2 is very important. But the first step we want to do is we want to take this 4 as our answer we want to multiply that by 3. So 4 times 3 is 12. We're just going to keep this to the side. Now we have a remainder of 2. Now if we had a remainder of 0, then we would just add 0, 0 on the end. If we have a remainder of 1, we're going to add 75 on the end. If we have a remainder of 2, which we do in this case, it's going to be 150. And if we have a remainder of 3, it's going to be 225. If we had a remainder of zero, we could just add the two zeros on the end. But since we have two, it's 150, but we can't just put 150 on the end. It won't work like that because you only need two digits to go on the end. So instead of writing 150 on the end, we're actually going to add this to this number and it's going to look like this. So the zero five get added to the end and we're going to add one to the two. So our answer here is 1,350. So 18 times 75 is 1,350. So that's a small one. We'll go ahead and do a big one here. Let's try 6,823. Why not? Times 75. First thing we're going to do again is divide this number by 4. So 6,823 divided by 4. 4 goes into 6 one time, has a remainder of 2. So I'm going to write this 2 down next to the 8. 4 goes into 28 seven times. So I'm going to write 7 up here. 4 goes into 2 zero times. And 4 goes into 23 five times. And we have a remainder of 3. Very important. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this 1,705 we're going to multiply it by 3. Very important. So we have 1,705, and we're going to multiply this by 3. This number is 5. Carry our 1. 3 times 0 plus 1 is 1. 3 times 7 is 21. Carry 2. 3 times 1 plus 2 is 5. So we have 5,115, but we have a remainder of 3. So we need to add 225. But remember what we talked about, we can't just add 225, so we need to add 5115 plus 225. And the 2 and the 5 are going to add, and then the 2 and the 5 are just going to end up at the end. So the last two numbers of the 2 and the 5 will just add up at the end. The 2 and the 5 add to 7, and then we have 511. And our answer here is... 511,725. And this is the method that just pertains to 75. Now if you're familiar with the trick how to multiply by 25, you can use that also. And we'll take a look at that right now. Let's say 19 times 75. We're going to treat this exactly like we would if we're multiplying by 25. And if you haven't watched that video, you can check that out. But 19 times 25, you first do the same thing you divide by 4. So 19 divided by 4. In this case, it's 4 with a remainder of 3. And with the remainder of 3, we write down 75. So our answer is 4, 7, 5. If you have a remainder of 0, you write down 0, 0. 1, you write down 25. 2, you write down 50, and 3, you write down 75. In this case, we have a remainder of 3, so we're going to write down 75 after 4. So 475. 
And then once you get this answer, this 475 would be 19 times 25. But since you're multiplying by 75, you just take 475 and multiply this entire number by 3. And this will give you 19 times 75. So 475 times 3, 5 carry your 1, 21 plus 1, 2 carry your 2, 4 times 3 is 12, 14. So 19 times 75 is 1,000. 425. So whichever method you like, if you like the one that just pertains to 75 or if you've mastered multiplying by 25 and you like this method and think it's easier, they'll both work. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't checked out the website, themathworld.com. Check it out. Thanks for watching, everybody.